All right, so I'm just going to skip the intro today, but still follow me on my social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram. And of course, Issue, Brighty and Odyssey, uh, Minds, especially Reddit, especially, extra especially besides Minds, would it be, um, hmm, I don't know. I would say Threads, but I still haven't made a Threads account yet because I don't know if I should do that. I don't know. I guess Reset Air if I decide to make a freaking thing there. Or, actually, no, yeah, follow me on Rumble, too. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, as far as everything else goes, all of that other stuff goes on. I know this is like two weeks old, but I want to get three other real brand new freaking things. One of them I think I might do a video on, depends. That's it, this one after 21, 22 years of me freaking waiting. I'm not going to get too deep into it today, but I might do a separate video by itself. Um, I'm not sure if Rare Rare was the ones that made this, or I don't know, Activision, or THQ, or THQ Nordic now. Um, they decided to make a trilogy of the original Gex the Gecko freaking um, franchise. And if you've been on my channel since literally day one, even on my Critical Guy Realization Man channel in 08 to 2009 to 2012, you know for years I've been begging for some Gex the Gecko freaking game to make its triumphant return. And it looks like it's going to be happening. So I'm probably going to save this for another... Yeah, so it's another freaking video. So it's limited run game seasons of revival of Gex the Gecko trilogy. Those who have been waiting for the return of the one time Crystal Dynamics. Oh, it used to be for Crystal Dynamics, so it was from Edios before. The same ones that made the Tomb Raider games back in the day. I didn't know that. Wow. We'll be happy to know that Gex the Ge Gecko trilogy is finally being revived by limited games. So I mean if that does good. I know it's not a spin-off, spiritual successor, a remake, remaster, or origin story. But I would love for that. I pray the Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahweh Jesus, the Hashim God, or the God Almighty, true Lord Jesus, that that thing goes very, very good. I hope it sells like hotcakes. They did it with Crash. They did it with Spyro. They did it with freaking gosh dang what? I don't even know. Um, even Rocko's Modern Life. Even though Netflix kind of did that, but that's different. Hell, with Nick, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, they kind of did it with that in a way, too. They did it with those three franchises. Even what? Russian Clank has been around for the longest time. So they've been successful. Even Smash Bros. was successful for a super long time. It's probably going to be like 2028 20, or 2030. Whenever Nintendo decides to make a Switch number three or number two. You know, if they did really, really amazingly well, I'm praying that Gexo Gecko does just as good. But, anyways, let's get on to this super old two week news. Still wanting to talk about it. Very irrelevant by now. So if anybody's watching, thank you very much. The other two are very, very super recent too. So it says, YouTuber Adam22 is slammed by fans for letting wife Lena the Plug do um, adult film scenes with another man, but he is insistent that it has been amazing for her career. Of course it has been. Why wouldn't it be? So this comes from Kelsey from uh, Daily Mail. I'm not going to try to say that last name. I need some tech music in the background. So there's that. So this one's a... Obviously, it's from Daily Now. If any of you guys want to see it, this is um popular YouTuber. Oh, I thought it was something else, huh? That's kind of fucking weird. Whatever. I thought it said um, thought it was from freaking Metro of the Mirror. It says popular YouTuber Adam Twenty. Yeah, I thought he had his own podcast where he was on Spotify or I don't know Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, SoundCloud, Apple Plus. I thought he got big from there. I didn't know he got big on YouTube. Yeah, YouTuber Adam22 has sparked fierce backlash after revealing that his um corn star wife um and film scene with another man and insisting that quote is amazing for their career and businesses. 39 year old which has hosted a podcast titled No Jumper. I've heard of No Jumper before a few times. It's kinda like how Sports Keta and Dexterdo, Dexterdo and um I don't know, we got this covered. Like a lot of like very huge dramatic spilling the tea sort of like super over dramatization sort of websites kind of are or social media platforms they like to shit on gaki and literally diarrhea crap on a lot of other people that are big time youtubers or big time twitch streamers or big time i don't know any other social media influencers they like to um stir a lot of the pot when it comes to that shit they're kind of like the keen stars of their universes but let's move on so yeah, no jumper face a barrage of criticism and he has revealed that his spouse, Lena, 
also known as Lena the Plug. And if you have, <laughs> if you haven't um, noticed my uh, thumbnail, I had to censor a crap ton of her picture because she's an adult film star. And uh, I, just for research purposes, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of did frap a little bit to her too because extremely beautiful, hot fucking woman. Not gonna lie. Um, very very nice, pretty body parts. I'll say that, and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Woo! Shit, man. Um, yeah, extremely gorgeous, hot, sexually attractive woman. Extremely mega beautiful as hell. So I'm not gonna say I'm jealous of the dude, but she's just one in a billion. And she didn't even need to make an OnlyFans of fans, and she still did it anyways. Yeah, nose leading to the plug performed on camera with another man for the first time in several year their several year relationship. Over a week, one. Over one week after Lena, 32, filmed a scene with Adam took to Twitter to share it while he was, a quote, a little jealous at first, and then later says it wasn't a big deal, unquote. California-based couple sparked fury on social media as Adam said that his wife was, quote, sleeping with that gentleman and amazingly for their lives. Yeah, so there's that. Ah, as you can tell, she looks like she'd be one of the Kardashian sisters, to be honest. Or... And really pretty Armenian choices. I've seen very, very beautiful hot freaking women like this. Not the first time I've seen one. She kind of looks like um, the one chick that was, um, even though she played the voice of Velma, I know she's Arab, Middle Eastern, Indian, Southeast Asian, Arabic or whatever. Um, Mindy Kane, but like a prettier version of Mindy Kane. I don't know. Uh, as you could tell, um, I, like I said before, I'll say it again. <laughs> I had to center a frick ton of the freaking thumbnail because I didn't want you to trying to shut down my channel because trying to show adult you know what uh, wow holy shit they actually have a kid together too oh my god honestly I don't know mom like it's to, not to get too off to a side tunes of a early thought views and opinions like if I was married to a really beautiful hot like adult film star like only fans fansly um patreon um thought chick that was my wife I don't know, bro. It, it would kind of be difficult to wrap my head around it because I don't know, like, what happens in a few years when their son or their daughter end up being in middle school, high school, say, hey, look, I know what your mom looks like. She was a blank, blank adult, um, not safe for work star. Look how, look how hot she looks. She's so freaking sexy. You know, like, I don't know. I doubt a middle schoolers might say that. High schoolers, they might say that. Because uh, somebody that was in middle school, especially in high school, oh, there was a bunch of dudes I used to hang out with that they furiously fapped off to a shitload of porn like I did. A corn, excuse me. And um, psh, I could tell you for a fact, and they're probably going to be bullying cheese for the rest of their life. And that's kind of the main reason I wouldn't want to marry an adult film, not say for work star, because literally I think the second they do a vault film star prawn, it's literally impossible for them to any ever get any regular job ever again. Because they're almost on that same list as a a child, you know what, a predator, pretty much, or a pedo. They're on that same list if they try to get an IRL, real-life, everyday working job. They'll never be seen as a regular person ever again. And that's probably for male porn stars, too, or corn stars. I keep saying that. And my channel's probably, my channel, or God forbid. I mean, at this channel, this, um... Video gets shut down, I don't mind it, but if the whole channel gets shut down because I said the P word and not the C word, I'm just going to call them NSFW workers. So this is his, oh wow, he's a fan of Charlie Brown from back in the day. Oh, that's cool. I used to watch that a lot too when I was a 90s kid, but it says this is his official account, Twitter, I think, or Instagram. It said it's officially been a week since I let my wife do NSFW with another guy. I feel a little jealous at first, but overall it wasn't a big deal. She's watching me sleep with hundreds of other girls, or watch me sleep with hundreds of bunch of others of girls, and it's never affected our relationship. Sleeping with that gentleman has been amazing for both of her career and our businesses. Hug Talk Show. Overall, I'm glad we did it. I'm happy to report <laughs> her lady parts has returned to its original size. Wow. Congrats. That's pretty badass. Awesome. Because Adam posted a bizarre message to Twitter. All right, I already read that. Read most of okay. At the end of his post, he noticed his wife son Vag has returned to normal as a size following her EXC with another dude. 
Adam's post just comes two months after the couple tied the knot. But it's his tweet that caused quite a stir and dozens of other social media users rushed to the brand to the couple as, quote, gross. One person wrote, you guys are both pretty gross, just saying. Someone else commented, this is the future we're really headed to. People are trying to normalize anything now, unquote. Just so got married. Oh, May 29th, okay. So almost three months ago now. I mean, as far as overall thoughts and opinions go, like for now, because unfortunately everybody in this life that gets old and they start losing their beauty, their handsomeness, or looks sooner or later are going to go away, sadly. Part of being a human being. Unless in 2030 or 2040, I don't know if Elon Musk, Jared Kushner, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, I don't even know, even fucking... Um, I don't know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, or some scientist out there, they make some sort of pill or robotic wearable technology machine that makes you look young forever. I will not take that shit for the life of me. I'm personally, in my personal opinion, this is just me talking here. Hot take for some people that want to live forever, but for me, I wouldn't want to live forever, honestly. I'm actually extremely humble and very, very um, okay with passing away through natural old age. I want to see myself be a 70, 80, 90 year old man with a wheelchair and a fucking cane. I don't care. I'm very, very um, okay with passing away from this earth. Naturally, the way Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit wanted me to like pass away. You live as a man, you pass away and die as a mortal man. It's afterlife, unfortunately for me, which I'm kind of 50-50 on. Hopefully, I do get to make it to a beautiful place with the golden freaking gates of um, heaven. And if I don't make it there, hopefully I make it to Limbo at most. If Limbo exists. I hope Limbo actually has an existence somewhere in the afterlife. I know heaven and heaven do, hell do, but I, at least I get to go there if I don't get, make it to heaven. Praying that it happens. And never go to a place where I'm going to have to be burned and tortured by demons for the rest of my life. I really don't want to go there. Just saying. Without the religion out of the way. So yeah, it says, Adam's confession to their life amazing just comes two months after the couple type not. And this is just a bunch of other bullshit. I don't feel like fucking reading. But thoughts, views, and opinions for real now. Ah, oh, dude. Um, Honestly, I know some people have been throwing shade at this dude, telling this guy, Adam, he's a cuck and he's a simp. Pretty much a weak, spineless piece of garbage for letting a whole bunch of other dudes pretty much run a train on his wife. Which, you know what? He was a former adult, not safe for work, NSFW star, adult male porn st prawn star, and uh, adult female prawn star. You know, they should expect to get a crap ton of criticism, bro. I'm not going to say he's right for what he did or what he's wrong for what he did, but. And now, now that he has a kid involved, though, oh, man, that changes the game big time. Like, what are you going to tell your daughter when she hits 18 and up? Like, oh, mommy and daddy, what did you guys used to do before I was married? How are you going to explain that to them? Like, oh, well, sweetheart, uh, we did some things we kind of regret. You know, like, how are you going to break that down to them? I can't even imagine the sit-down talk that shit's going to end up being like. Unless she, God forbid, if she ends up being like how her mom ends up being up. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Kind of sad to look at it. And they probably feel like shit later on afterwards, too. I mean, they made a fuck ton of money. Was that money worth it getting her um her um lady parts smashed into a million pieces by a bunch of black dudes um, or any other race in the sea guys? Um, like I'm racist. Just saying. And vice versa, was it good enough for getting a lot of freaking um really good hot dog buns on his um cuck? I'm just saying. So I guys here for now, money. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, boys and damn boys and great girls. Talk to you more else soon. I see you guys today. Good night, wherever in the world out there. Second like future content is streaming through the video game streams and mod news, so drama news, um, Elon Musk news once in a while, celebrity gossip news, and of course, reaction news segments. Peace out, do some bye, see you soon. Later.